Hey, thanks for joining us for step one. Our passage today is Psalm 36, verses 1 through 12. Step one is a resource to help aid in your inductive Bible study. It focuses on the observation step of the process. So let's dig into Psalm 36, verses 1 through 12. We'll be starting with verses 1 through 4. The first thing I notice is the subject of this paragraph seems to be the wicked. We get a bunch of descriptions of the wicked. We see that transgression speaks to the wicked, deep in his heart. We see a second characteristic, that there is no fear of God before his eyes. And then we get some further descriptions or reasons why this is the case. David says the wicked flatters himself in his own eyes, with the result that he can't even see his own iniquity. David goes on to describe how the words of his mouth are both trouble and deceit. His actions are no longer wise or good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself up in a way that is not good. Ultimately, he does not reject evil. From the structure of the passage, it looks like the root issue may be the fact that he has no fear of God before his eyes. It's possible that this is what leads to all the other descriptions. So the first paragraph is about the character of the wicked. Let's look at verses 5 through 6. First, we see that this paragraph is about the Lord, as his name brackets the beginning and the end. He is the subject, being referred to throughout both verses. The Lord's steadfast love is described as extending to the heavens. The Lord's faithfulness extends to the clouds. Third, we see God's righteousness compared to the mountains of God, and his judgments are like the great deep. Ultimately, he is a God who saves. So in verses 5 through 6, we see a character of God described with wide, sweeping, and beautiful language. The next section is verses 7 through 9, and here we see the subject is the children of mankind. But it's also about God and how the children of mankind relate to him. We see God's love being precious to the children of mankind, how they take refuge in the shadow of his wings, how they are able to feast on the abundance of his house and how God gives them drink from the river of his delights. And then we get the reasoning. The reason is because God is the fountain of life. He is also the light by which we are able to see. So we're able to see the impact on the children of mankind when they follow God and his character. Let's look at the last section in verses 10 through 12. First, we see David start to pray and give requests to God. He asks God to continue his steadfast love and his demonstration of righteousness to those who know him and who are upright of heart. These are parallel thoughts. Those who know God will be upright of heart. Then he asks God in the negative to not allow the foot of arrogance to come upon him, nor the hand of the wicked to drive him away. It looks like this idea of being away is a place without God. He describes this away place as a place where evildoers lie fallen, again describing the wicked, and they thrust down unable to rise. So David finishes this song with a prayer to help him seek out God's character. And that's step one for Psalm chapter 36, verses 1 through 12. We'd encourage you to continue your step one journey. What observations do you see in the text? What's an important observation you think we missed in today's video? You can use the Life Group notes to continue your Bible study journey this week. We're looking forward to processing our Bible study journeys together this Sunday at Louisville Evangelical Free Church. We hope to see you then. God's blessings on your week.